Today we are going to look into a tool that I'm lately using mostly for all my projects that need fast export time and a lot of editing that's not just conventional but that I need AI assistance from my Luminar AI. Understand what I'm using and how I'm editing my photos for my professional family work. Let's go straight in it. We shall be looking at some amazing features inside Luminar Neo and also inside Luminar Mobile. Yes, there is a mobile version that you can use on your smartphone. Okay, so let's have a look firstly into the interface. And the interface is pretty easy and simple to understand. And if you're coming from other editing suites, you should have no problems at all adapting on the Luminar Neo. Luminar can be used as a standalone application, just like me right now, or as plugins inside Lightroom and Photoshop. Well, my favorite way to use it is a standalone application. Okay, so we shall be firstly adding the photos that we'll be editing and modifying. Lately, I have shot a gimbal commercial. So this will be perfect for our examples. Okay, so one of my favorite functions are generative erase. And these functions erase and remove unwanted elements from the footage, seamlessly filling the gaps with the textures and elements that match the surrounding using generative AI technology. So let's have a try. In this shot, I went very wide and I wanted to keep the wideness of the shot. But as you see, I left my gimbal on the left side accidentally, with also the light pole sticking near it that's not really pleasant to the eye. So let's correct that. Let's select the wideness on the brush circle and paint over it. Simple as that. So let's now erase that. Luminar will do its AI computation and in a couple of seconds replace it with generative AI feel matching the scene. Isn't that amazing? In just a couple of seconds I have erased my gimbal and I can use this complete photo without my professional gimbal for filmmaking inside of the shot. Just the actual gimbal for smartphones that I we actually using to shoot and make the commercial. Okay, so let's try another one. Okay, so we have another photo and in the blur background we have a sign of a door number that I really don't like because it's slightly blue and it's getting in the shot. So I will slightly erase that and make it to look smoother. Let's go straight in it. It's getting too much attention. Let's erase it with general fill AI to not be so intrusive anymore. And also I'm selecting the door behind it because I think it can be smoothened out for a really smoother look. And there you go, in just a couple of seconds the generative AI erase is doing its thing and now we have a better looking image for our client. Another great feature that I'm using in Luminar Neo is the gen swap feature that will replace specific elements in the image with high quality AI generated visuals. Let's say that we want another face in this shot. We will just select the face of the actor and select swap it. And it works amazingly well. In just a couple of seconds, we have another actor holding the gimbal. Isn't that amazing? So I can swap actors inside of my editing Luminar Neo Suite. And in this photo, if I don't want to have a gimbal in the shots, well, Let's replace it with something more pleasant to a complete different look for the complete scene. Let's try it. And you can actually envision on what you want to swap and write down some nouns to guide the AI feature to match your ideal visual for that look. So let's say we want a flower instead of the gimbal. We will type flower and expect some amazing results. You can also write an extended prompt if you want something more specific included in the image. And there you go, in just a couple of seconds we now have a flower instead of a gimbal. There are a lot of other features that you can explore inside Luminar Neo and one of my favorite is the wide selection of loots and presets that you can apply on your image, that will make your photo easier to edit in a glance. Or if you want to add a more dramatic and special sky effect that you didn't have in the shoot. 
So in the shot we have just some clear skies and we want to add some clouds. No problem, let's select your favorite sky background with what fits the most for your image and purpose. Sky position, refinement and all of that. And also let's check Luminar Mobile. Inside Luminar Mobile you can AI enhance a picture with just a couple of clicks and see the before and after turning the knob on the left and on the right. After that we have a wide range of actual film color stocks to actually grade your footage and image as you like it. After that we can also replace the sky and select one of our favorite sky behind us to enhance the complete footage. So let's try this late Sunday that will be perfect for this shot of me and my son. In just a couple of clicks we are ready to go in seconds. But yes we can also make it a night vision ourselves if we want actual night behind us and have a pretty beautiful star line behind us. On the slider you can actually select the light and exposure, contrast, color, saturation, structure AI, relight so we can relight our footage just like we want it and in the place where we want more light facing ourselves make a vignette and shape our body to make it slimmer or larger. We can select a landscape and add some other features, the medium and details. We can select the monochrome feature. Pretty simple yet amazing features that you can edit in a glance on your smartphone. In Luminar Neo you have an extreme amount of editing tools that I'm not able to cover in one video. I have just shown you what I'm using the most in this part of the video, but for sure I will be getting back for another tutorial for the other features that I'm also using in my production. And if you want to try out Luminar Neo and Luminar Mobile, the first link in the description will get you straight to the landing page. If you have any questions feel free to comment down below, I will be happy to answer to all of them. Till my next one, thumbs up if you liked it, subscribe with the bell icon to get notified every time I make a new video and see you on my next one.